Hello, welcome to the app code on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at putting a table view into edit mode. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up Xcode here and create a new project. And just to make things easy, I'm going to select navigation based application because that's going to give us a table view app right out of the box. And we'll just name it edit table tutorial. Put it in my source control. Let me go ahead and resize my window here so you can see everything that's going on. Now, if we go ahead and run this, you'll see that right, whoops, I want to run it on simulator and not on my phone. If we go ahead and run this, you'll see that it has created a table view for us, but there's nothing populating it. It's just blank rows. So the first thing we want to do is populate our table. So I'm going to go to the root view controller header file here to just declare a NS mutable array and I will name it data array and then I'm going to go to the implementation file and I'm actually going to cheat here a little bit copy and paste some code that's populated in our array so you don't have to waste your time while you watch me type that okay now we have our array populated and we're going to use that to populate our table view so the first thing we want to do is go to our number of rows and section method and use our array to set that number of rows just like that and then we go to cell for row at index path and we're going to do cell dot text label dot text equals oops, that's data array object at index and that's going to be index path dot row and now, if we run it, you'll see that our table should be populated with our array. Okay, perfect. Now, what we want to do is we're going to set this into an edit mode by adding an edit button up here in the navigation bar. And then that's going to allow us to delete rows in our table. So let's go ahead and add that button. We're going to do that in the view to load method as well. And that is just going to be self dot navigation item dot left bar button item equals self dot button item okay and that okay I actually have that wrong here and that needs to be edit button item okay now that is going to add a edit button to the top in our navigation bar as you'll see here right there and you see it sets it in edit mode but it's not going to do anything we want it to do yet so what we will need to do is uncomment this method this commit editing style method and here in editing style equals delete here it you'll see it's already set up to delete one of the rows but it's not deleting it out of our array so we're going to do that remove object at index index path dot row so this is a method that comes right out of the box um, that your table view can implement and all I had to do was uncomment it and use it and really all I'm having to do is add this line of code that removes the object from my array and now you'll see if we go ahead and run this go into edit mode click our little red stop sign type thing gonna delete the red and whoops it's wrong here we actually need to let's put that before that. Now let's run it again. See if it works. Edit, delete, and it's gone. It's just like that. Now let's try and delete another one, and it's gone. Okay, so that's how you delete a row. Now, how about if we try and add a row? And to do that, Again, we're going to add a button to our navigation bar, and I'm going to copy some code here again. Because I'm trying to 
to make this as quick as possible for you. So all we're doing here is we're creating a new UI bar button item and it's going to be of the type add. You see right there, the target itself and the action is going to be a new method that we're going to call add new item. And I have that method right here I'm going to copy and paste that you'll see. Add new item and all it's doing is adding this string to our array and then it's going to reload our table view. Now, I didn't explain this, which is what we created the item and then we added it to the right portion of our navigation bar. Hope you caught that. Now if we run, click the add, doesn't look like it did anything, but we come down to the bottom and you see that it added teal. Click it again and it adds another one. And we can delete it. This is a handy little feature that's built in. You can just swipe on the uh, row and delete it like that. So there, now delete the red, click the button, and teal came back. So that's how you go ahead and set the table into editing mode. And you can delete the rows, you can add rows. Obviously, you wouldn't want to hard code the value that's getting added. What you could do was just present something like a modal view to accept an, some input and then add the value of that input as the row. I hope you found this useful. Um, sorry if I was kind of all over the place there, but I think you got the gist of it. Um, as always, please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com and see other tutorials that I have and subscribe to me here on YouTube. And also I have a new feature on my blog, or actually on my Twitter account, where I'm doing a tweet daily of a just a little iOS tip or a fact or just something like that. So if you want to uh, go to my blog, you can sign up for my to follow me on Twitter or to like the Facebook page, and either one of those will allow you to get that uh, daily tip. Okay, until next time, have a great day.